Over the past few years, describing products as vegan has increasingly been considered a bad idea. Industry leaders have recommended that companies avoid using V words on their meat-free products. Many advocates feel that the words vegan or vegetarian may turn people off. Part of this perception is based on studies showing that putting meat-free options in a separate vegetarian section of your menu reduces sales. Also, the word vegan reduces food's appeal for more consumers than other common labels like diet, sugar-free, or gluten-free. As a result, the term plant-based has been widely adopted as an alternative to vegan and vegetarian. There are some good reasons for this move, at least theoretically. The term focuses on what a product contains rather than what it lacks, and it doesn't have the social baggage associated with veganism. However, none of this research had directly compared the terms plant-based and vegan on a product. We started off by crowdsourcing a list of potential terms for meat alternatives. We then narrowed the list of suggestions down to 20 and tested them for appeal with meat consumers. The terms included options like direct protein, harmless, and feel good. We also included vegan and plant-based. When people thought about them one at a time in this study, they were all rated as pretty neutral in terms of appeal, with not many differences between them. But we decided to test for differences as strongly as possible by pitting the eight best labels directly against one another, head to head. Here's what we found. Most people preferred the label vegan over plant-based and most other options. Counter to commonly held assumptions, consumers said that a vegan burger sounded better than a plant-based burger in a head-to-head -head comparison. In fact, only feel good outperformed vegan as a label. The success of this positive label suggests playing up the ability of meat-free eating to make a person, well, feel good. In a domain steeped with health and morality messaging, adding a broader positivity-based approach may be successful with a large number of people. Finally, we found that to appeal to men, especially young men, vegan and plant-based were not very well liked. By contrast, the label direct protein showed more promise with men. Using terms like that or avoiding labels altogether may be the most successful approach to appealing to young men. It's important to draw a little asterisk here because the terms themselves aren't a neutral thing. Some terms like feel good are more general and less objectively descriptive than plant-based. In other words, feel good describes a feeling while plant-based actually describes what's in or not in the food. More research with other methods and target products is needed, but our study suggests that labeling a product simply as plant-based may appeal to a smaller segment of consumers than many other options, notably including vegan. This doesn't mean that we need to use the word vegan excessively. However, a small V logo or suitable for vegans label could actually help draw people to vegan products. Overall, the study shows that we need a range of strategies to appeal to a range of consumers. As our findings suggest, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to labeling. For advocates, this means targeting your message to specific groups in specific ways. For marketers, as more and more companies manufacture animal product alternatives, they can target different niches. A range of strategies is likely the best approach. Faunalytics wants to help you along your journey to know more, until a day when there is no more animal abuse. Thank you so much for checking out our study summary. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to be updated when we release videos about our studies and others, and check out the links in the video description to see the full results and data.